In this video, we continue introducing basic topics about Java programming with more examples of Java keywords, classes, uh, the main method, variables, data types, and arithmetic operators. You probably recognize the screen of my NetBeans integrated development environment with the first uh, project that we started last week still open. I strongly advise that you go ahead and close any projects that may be already uh, open before you begin a new one. So simply right click here and choose to close it. The reason I give you this advice is that it's possible uh, to uh, make a mistake when you have too many files open with too many projects open uh, a lot of files will look alike um, and uh, in such case it's easy to make a mistake to try to edit their own file uh, which is actually not part of your project many other uh, simple mistakes could be made this way so this is the way i prefer to start all my new projects i also would like to remind you that I already chosen my directory structure and it's pretty simple. You see, I have this uh, CIS 157 directory and I typically keep uh, Windows Explorer uh, window open so I can quickly check what is happening um, in these uh, areas on my hard drive as I'm making changes in my projects. So today I'm ready to create a new project here by going to File, New Project. Continue using uh, project category Java, Java with AND, which is a building system. And the project type is Java application, which is using a Java standard edition uh, library. Now, when this uh, new screen comes up, uh, you should be able to recognize that this is the, the directory that I was using uh, during my prior project creation. And it's nice that it remembers it. The project name that I'd like to use will be week 02, just to keep track of my work as I'm making progress here. And uh, this time um, I will uncheck creation of the main class. The main class is the class, uh, Java class, that contains the main method uh, where the application starts. So this time I will show you how to create this manually. and. Uh, a reason for it is that oftentimes you don't have to create main class because maybe you already copied a file from your previous project and now you just want to adjust it and, and to keep using uh, the one that you already have. So there could be whatever reasons to not to create this. So I uncheck this and click finish. Of course, notice that in my directory structure, new uh, subfolder is added and it will contain uh, all the standard uh, parts of uh, NetBeans uh, project. Here I have my project view uh, and if I expand it, uh, I will have to um, uh, add uh, my source files um, uh, under source packages. So notice that um, there is a default package, which means that uh, no subfolders really exist under source right here. And uh, the first thing that uh, you have to do is to create, if you just start with no files, uh, just create a um, new package. You really should not be using default package. It's considered to be a bad choice in modern Java development. So you have to add a new package. New package actually corresponds to a subfolder under your source uh, directory. I'll just keep the same name as my project name, which will be week two. Click finish. You can see that the new package is added, the default package is gone, which is a good thing. You really don't, don't need to use default package. And now a subfolder is added. So this uh, Java package corresponds to, to a folder on your drive. So now 
I have this place uh, that corresponds to this package. Now, since I would like to add my first um, class that contains the main method, I will right click and, and say new Java class. Okay, so this is how I'm adding my um, main class uh, manually to my project. So this brings up this uh, new wizard. Um, I'll name it main app just for the reasons to uh, give it a name where I can easily recognize that this is my main class which contains the main method. So when the list of uh, source files keeps growing, it will be easily recognizable and I can find it very quickly in my application. So the package um, name is week two because that's where we chose to add new class. And you see that uh, I'm also making visible this path to the location of this corresponding folder to this uh, package. And I just click uh, finish and you see that it creates a new Java file. So it's called main app uh, Java dot Java uh, because it, co it corresponds exactly to um, uh, to the name of the class that I just created. Remember um, every Java file has to match a public class that it contains. So that's just a simple rule. For now, I'll, uh, it's probably a good idea to explain what this program does, as we'll see in some of our uh, samples right here. But to save space here, I'll just remove these comments um, at, at the beginning and start with just a, a very, very simple uh, setting. Um, because um, there will be more nesting of these um, uh, brackets that uh, create a scope for classes, methods, and other things. Um, I prefer to add this class main app as a comment, a line comment at the end of the class uh, definition right here. So then I will create a public static void void main which is our main method it requires a parameter string array that normally called args for arguments and then I'll add the body to this uh, main um, uh, method so now typically I like to save my work periodically like this and make sure that I can build my project successfully. So normally I just go to the project view right here. This is a, a project uh, subtree and right click and clean and build. If everything goes well, you can always check your output window like this, which shows me that my build was successful. And that's really what I would like to see at this point. So. Um, if you have some uh, difficulties building this, just make sure that you check the syntax of your source file and be sure that everything looks okay.